right, this is a uh, final snob once more. And I'm gonna do another take on my uh, record collection. My record, one of my record bins. Um, in the background I got a record spinning. Um, it's up here in this box, so I'm gonna come to that later. Actually, it's this one. Um, gonna start off right, right away. Here's the, the Mojo Collectors Final Edition I showed in a previous video. The Beatles White Album. Yeah, you can see it. All right. There's some John Lennons. I'm not really a big fan of John Lennon or anything, but I happen to really appreciate these albums. This one's nice. Um, uh, don't have any track listing on the back. Forget about it. It's the Free the People song. Really cool. Um, John and Yoko Plastic Ono Band. Really good. Really good album. It also has a live album with uh, with Zap Power and the Mothers of Invention, but I never listened to that. I only listened to the studio album part of this one. The Grateful Death from the Mars Hotel has one of the best songs on it. Unbroken Chain. You cannot read it on this camera. Here we got another Grateful Dead album, a compilation album, the best of. And one of the best songs. Well, th they're all really good songs. Grateful Dead is such a good band. But uh, the song I appreciate most on this one is uh, Friend of the Devil. Set out running um, for Take My Time. The friend of the Devil is a friend of mine. Set out running, but I take my time. Friend of the Devil is a friend of mine. All right, Slime of Family Stone, greatest hits. Some really cool uh, songs on it. Love it. Richie Havens, also a compilation album. Would love to pick up a, a really dedicated true album from him, but uh, actually this one's pretty pretty nice. They have some really good songs on it, so this will keep me busy for a while more. And we got the, the pre-Jefferson um, Airplane. It's uh, The Great Society with Grace Slick. It has some really early versions uh, of uh, Jefferson Airplane songs on it. Well, one I know is like um, Somebody to Love and The White Rabbit, they have, uh, they have it. So, really spectacular this one. Since I'm a great Jefferson Airplane fan also, used to be a kind of hippie in the 90s and uh, yeah this was the kind of music that really inspired me you know along with the doors I don't listen much to the doors anymore but the Grateful Dead can still count on my attention from time to time early flight it's a compilation album of uh, of course early early releases another compilation album and actually I do have a little bit too much compilations album of them whereas this is the best one they have some really good songs on this one so if you're uh, interested in uh, getting to know Jefferson Airplane a little bit better I recommend this album it's a uh, two album here we got Pink Floyd the Piper at the Gates of Dawn this is really the the first copy I'm gonna change my camera a little bit to this is really the mono version first pressing if I'm wrong please correct me so that's being Floyd first copy Piper at the gates of dawn here we got a saucer full of secrets actually I'm really I'm really only into the the Sid Barrett Pink Floyd um, as I just said before, like I used to be a hippie in the 90s, and uh, for me that meant listening to Jefferson Airplane, and of course I couldn't do without a Piper at the Gates of Dawn from Pink Floyd. A lot of acid. All right, Relics, Pink Floyd. It's a real nice uh, compilation album. Also Sid Barrett period. Here's Opal. I used to to uh, to have also uh, the, the the Madcap Laughs. Uh, 
I think it's the first solo album of Sid Barrett, but uh, I sold it. Strangely enough, it just didn't do it for me. Um, this record also doesn't do it for me. For me, it's really Sid Barrett in Pink Floyd early style. This is the record we're listening to, the song I put up uh, at the beginning of this video. It's a real strange record. This uh, this band, or it's kind of a project, is called His Name Is Alive. Um, and this album is called Stars on ESP. Don't know what ESP means, but whatever. This is kind of my 4AD section. Got some 4AD uh, label uh, LPs here. This is also from 4AD. Um, it's called The Pill Saints. Well, the, the band is called The Pill Saints. And I don't know the name of this record, but maybe self titled. Um, it's nice, really nice, really. Uh, yeah. It's like did they make their own kind of music you cannot really put it um, uh, in a box like okay it's this kind of music or that kind of music just really authentic pixies some more pixies trombo man surfer rosa and come on pelgrim i used to have bossa nova but sold it didn't didn't listen to it readers thought Really, really excellent album. I'm a big fan of uh, Christian Hirsch and uh, the Throwing Muses. So I was really happy to pick up this one, Hips and Makers, for solo album. Um, got Red Heaven from the Throwing Muses here. And this one comes with a limited edition bonus LP, Christian Hirsch Live. So, excellent. University, some couple of good songs on this. This is really the, I wouldn't call it the Swan uh, song album, but um, this is really the best album from Throne Muses for me, Limbo. I bought it original, or it's really original copy, and man, I cannot recount the times I've spinned this one. It's PJ Harvey, I'm really into PJ Harvey also, all the material. Um, I listened to uh, well one of the, the latest albums, uh, London something, and I really didn't like it. Just just not my cup of tea anymore. This is really the, the PJ Harvey I like. Got some single in there. And this is also a more new album. Different style. It's okay, this one. I like this one a lot, Stories from the City, Stories from the Sea. Here's another kind of compilation-esque album. It's uh, PJ Harvey with a uh, producer, what's his name again? John Peel. Uh, this, this was my first PJ Harvey record and this is such a good one. It's the original demos from Rid of Me. Man, many a time I've listened to this. Here's a really goofball, uh, goofball band, The Residents. Not available. Vileness Fats. Commercial album. This is the first album I bought of them and was totally like, what? What kind of music is this, you know? But, uh, phew, the Residents. Um, there is a reason I have some of their albums because they're really awesome. This is also a really good album. This is a very, well, not very, but quite rare album. Uh, Eskimo, um, it's really unique, it's the first copy, really, really, really unique, but actually <laughs> um, this, the, the music the residents make, um, I love it or hate it, and this is kind of a hate album for me, so this is really a, a later release, I don't even know if this is the original residents lineup even, got some uh, blue color vinyl I don't know if it's yeah it's marble marble all right gonna put this back later on got only one hand for picking the records REM out of time nothing special but nice to have it on final Edie Brickell and the new Bohemians <laughs> Beavs and Butthead will laugh about this one um, Fool's Gold that's really an interesting band um, it's an Israeli band I guess it's a little bit world music they, they make but so man fucking awesome 
last days of April. Um, it's uh, from a Scandinavian band, and I bought this record at their gig. And I put some autographs, some crappy autographs. Uh, Solex, it's kind of the Dutch female back from uh, the 90s. It's nice, nothing special. Well, it's kind of special, but. Nicolette, um, English, yeah, well, how do you call that? Uh, Singer songwriter, it's electronic music, and uh, I've, uh, I've had some moments with this one. Let no one live rent free in your head. It's a really deep message. Uh, the crazy thing is that um, it appears uh, that the album needs to be uh, spun at what it's like uh, 45 RPM, but I listened to it for nearly 10 years on 33 RPM. <laughs> it's really crazy, but still, uh, I love the music. It was really slow, of course, and really deep voice. I thought, like, ah, oh, she's got a deep voice for a female singer, but. Now when I put them uh, on, uh, well, the speed they need to be played, 45 RPM, it's kind of a little bit different to me, like, oh yeah, okay, this is how it's supposed to be, but, hmm, give me that 33. Thelonious Monster, awesome band, awesome. Um, baby, you're bumming my life in a supreme fashion. Uh, Thelonious Monster, love them. Another LA band. Peppers, one out minute. An English band, Baby Shambles, with uh, P. Doherty from the Libertines. Got some single here. Um, this is also nice. This is Betty Severed, uh, Pelo Mine, and it's a Dutch band uh, with a female singer, and it's really sweet. This album, it's sweet, but also very deep. Uh, it has a real good message about friendship and love. To me, it has. So, Scott Four, an English band. Uh, well, I don't think many people know this band, but it's cool. Fate No More, live album, live at the Brixton Academy. Another Fate No More. What's the name of this album again? I don't know, man. I'm losing my mind. The real thing, of course, Jeff Buckley, Grace, when he bought this one original in the 90s and it's in terrible shape because I played this record so many times, the vinyl went grey. So if, I, if, if I'm able to pick this up once more, maybe 180 ga grams re-release, then I'll probably do it. It's a real good album. I used to have uh, sketches for my sweetheart to drunk, but I sold it. Um, it's like a post-mortem album and well, there, the songs were really sketches, didn't really like them. And this is really the only Jeff Buckley album I go with. Some Zappa, Zoodalures, this, this one's my... Uh, I got a few favorite Zappa albums, it's this one, One Size Fits All and Two Hundred Motel is also great. but. These three are really my most favorite. Apostrophe, One Size Fits All, and Zoodalers. It's all a little bit like the, the 74 period with uh, Napoleon Murphy Brock and George Duke. Um, of course, uh, Ruth Underwood. But this is kind of my most favorite Zappa period. It's nice to have that one. Got a little DVD along with it. Roxy and Elsewhere, Zappa, Zappa. So, let's wrap it up. Uh, see you next time in the next bin. And I got still some bins waiting. So, see you.